Hi, I'm Leslie Langnaw with Make Parts Fast, and we're here at the Rapid TCT Show in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm here with Stephen Camilleri of Speed3D, Speed3D, and he's going to introduce you to one of the newer ways of additively building a part. So, yes. what is this process, Steve? All right, well, yeah, great to meet you. This is our light speed machine. So this is our first product we launched it last November. Okay. And uh, what this machine does is it produces copper or aluminium parts incredibly fast, incredibly cheap. So this is a new direction for 3D printing. We're targeting something like the metal casting industry. We want to be able to produce parts that are near net shape and we want to be able to produce them in manufacturing quantities under the kind of conditions you would need them produced if you wanted to use them for production. Now what kind of manufacturing quantities are we talking about? So this will make one part very cheaply but it'll also make 500 parts very cheaply or 5,000 parts very cheaply. Okay. Um, we say that uh, in general, the crossover point for cost versus casting is about 10,000 pieces. Now exactly how does this process work? You're not using heat and you're not using chemicals That's right. to bond layers together. That's right. So this machine operates uh, directly from electricity and metal powder. Uh, that's all that it needs to work. Okay. Uh, so at the bottom of the machine here, you can see a rocket engine. So that rocket engine would normally be powered by uh, fuel and an oxidizer. That's how rocket engines normally work. You burn a fuel and you make heat and pressure. Now the material so, is coming up through the rocket nozzle? That's right, okay. exactly. In this case, we're not burning a fuel. Uh, we're, it's all powered electrically. We have a compressor that generates the compressed air. We have a heater down here that's very carefully controlled that generates heat. So we get that heat and pressure electrically. So this is an electric rocket engine. Mm -hmm. We add the powder. That accelerates up to about Mach 3 three times the speed of sound. He said Mach 3. Mach 3. And uh, this robot here, which is carrying a small metal plate, uh, catches those particles. So the particles shoot out of here. We have a fire hose of metal coming out of that. That smacks into this metal plate. And uh, it, it, the velocity is very carefully designed and controlled by us so that the, uh, we get a good metallurgical bond and the resulting part is of very high strength and density. So the part is actually made on that metal plate. Exactly. And the robot arm turns to whatever geometric arm. dimensions you need moves of the around. part. Moves around, that's right. Yeah. So the machine knows the part that you want and uh, the robot moves around and catches those particles in the right place at the right time at the right angle to make the part that you need. Now I can see aluminum in the casting industry. Copper in the casting industry? Is, is that well, you don't, you don't hear about it much, do you? No. In uh -oh. reality, copper is very hard to cast. There are people that do it. Um, it is done. If you could make it out of copper, you would prefer to make it out of copper. <laughs> and uh, it, it, everything's smaller and lighter and cheaper and, and better if you can do that. And this machine will allow you to do that. So in fact, copper casting is a huge problem and this solves that problem. Now, it's the actual speed of the deposition that causes the layers to bond together. Yes. So how fast can you produce parts? So uh, we produce parts at about 12 pounds an hour wow. with this machine. So that'll be about a thousand times faster than most of the machines here today. For the first time ever, we are producing parts with this machine while you watch live in the show. So we actually have parts made in Fort Worth. We can stamp them on the back <laughs> and, uh, and sell them made in Fort Worth. Uh, so this has been done, uh, Carbon did this in the case of polymers a few years ago, right. uh, because of, and, and we're doing it with metals now. Oh my so uh, we're a few years behind them, but here you go, metal parts on demand, uh, this this will make them while you watch. So if an engineer wants to find out more about this technology, yes. where can they find out more information about you? So our website, spwe3d.com, okay. and they'll have a YouTube channel, it's got some demonstrations of the video. And uh, of course, you can contact us through the website, and uh, we'd love to hear from people. And that's some of the new technologies you can find here at Rapid Plus TCT.